the worst birthday of all my birthdays in my whole entire existence. Morning guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. <laughs> Today is Sunday morning and I know, I know, I know, I know I haven't uploaded a video in like supposed to upload on Friday and I was to upload on Saturday but I didn't upload it and you guys know that there's been park ups and stuff happening on Friday because it was raining so bad I didn't manage to go to school and I needed to be in school so that I can upload the video and then I had like just a side of like natural causes and BTC stuff I was going guys I was going through it so because I was going through it I really just could not be on social media like that it wouldn't have been authentic and stuff so I just needed some time alone to myself anywho today is Sunday morning first of all I cleaned my room yesterday it is actually clean shockingly though i did my laundry as well while having three clients three entire clients sometimes i have to finish up i didn't mop that's the only thing i didn't do so i want to mop i am going to linzola down today to see my mom i i kind of told you guys that last vlog but if no one books for sunday i'm literally getting one of that i don't even think i can afford to go today but i'm going because i miss my mom and it will be nice to see her before i start my exams because that way, like I'll have that emotional support that I need. I miss her so much. Yeah, that's my agenda for today. It's not really jam packed. I don't even know how long this vlog is gonna be. Let me get my my, my stuff together. Let me mop the house and then get ready to leave and go see my mommy. Uh. Hey, I don't know what it, am I still going to be doing 10 days of Tammy because I don't have time and I still have exams and stuff. I'm not promising 10 anymore. The one promise that's happening is still, there will be a proper vlog box for 25 videos. Can I hella for a link of it yet? I even washed my bedding. That is how much I got up to yesterday. I washed my bedding. I washed my pillows. I washed everything. Please, a round of applause for Tammy. Come on. Like, you know. <laughs> It is 11 a.m. Yes, it is 11 a.m. And I'm about to go. Actually, I was supposed to leave a lot earlier, but my mom wasn't answering her phone. I couldn't leave without knowing if she wanted me to get anything for her in Gabs. She's still not answering her phone, so I'm just going to go anyways because, you know, I feel like I'm wasting time. And I want to be with my family. I want to be with my people. People that I love. I just finished eating. I had like a salad. One of those pick and pay salads and like a linguinha for breakfast. I know, weird combination. <laughs> but like the linguinha had mince. So the linguinha on its own was a full meal. The salad was like a side. You got it? Okay. If you don't get it, forget about it. I'm having a pair. I am on my way to Linsalatao in Ritunsalatao. I'm your dream come true. And I wonder if you know what you mean. What you mean. And I wonder if you know. And I wonder, 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 wonder. People see you drinking a savannah. They say to you, You drink savannah? Like, what's wrong with savannah? Phone might switch off any time now, but like, I am here and it is so. Like, look at how good I look just because of the sun and the fact that I am in my home village. Okay, one of my home villages, since this is not my official one because I'm African. I'm walking to the bar right now. And well, I guess I'll update you guys later because my phone is on 5%. It's about to die. Bye.
so we have a lang situation, like a sort of young situation, like a problem actually. Like, so I forgot my headset. Colin to let out. Literally forgot my headset at my mom's place, so I haven't been able to record a video. Right now, I'm literally recording with my laptop. It's right in front of me, so it can record sound. As you guys know, like my phone sound is terrible. It is so bad that there was just no way I was gonna be able to, you know, like my headset quality is bad. It's not great, but my phone quality is a shit. It is oh, Tuesday morning. It's a day before my birthday. And I don't know, this vlog should have ended a long time ago, but because of the whole no headsets thing, I just had to like, you know, regroup and kind of figure out what I'm going to be doing in the meantime. I'll get my mom probably, and I'll get it in the city. I didn't go to school today, as I guess per usual, now that we're out approaching the exam season. I'm only going to be going to school if absolutely necessary, like if I have to go take out some legal clinic stuff or something. But for me, Nagi Pile, mandated by Tamzozo reading week because if i still go to school and attend these classes i'm gonna fall behind because like i have literally an exam on friday and then i have another exam on monday it doesn't give me much space to actually study and prep so i'm sorry i'm sorry my ub people and my ub lecturers i love you guys and i've been attending this whole semester but like i gotta put me first 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 Lucian. i actually didn't update you guys on anything that happened since I left for Nzolita, have I? It was nice. I think that that's, I, I didn't get much footage because I was in the moment enjoying it. And for some reason, but for Nzolita, like five or six people mentioned my eyes. Apparently my eyes are big. I think my eyes are just normal size. I just am an expressive person. Like when I speak, I just, you know? But they were just like, no. Oh. I remember really like literally minutes when I arrived. Like, within minutes and I'm sweeping and the bar cleaning up and this guy says something so I look up and I look at him and he goes hey <laughs> I'm like what is this person even talking about for me they're just normal and my friends also have large eyes like Bolo and I have big eyes so I guess maybe I'm so used to it or the people in my life are so used to my eyes that it's not really a big deal I really don't think I have big eyes I think I just have regular regular eyes I think my eyes are pretty but like I just think they're normal size. I just tend to, you know, a lot when I talk. So that's when people be like, hmm, what the hell am I making? I used to get that a lot when I was younger, but like it stopped for a long time. So it took me by surprise. Something that's interesting for me, and I love every time I go to my home village, whether well, it's my mom's or my dad's, or anywhere where I have to, to deal with like the older adults of, I guess, who raised me or who I grew up with, is the fact that every time they are with their own friends, they automatically speak to them like their children and I absolutely love them. Hey, I'm going to talk to another older man. It's just so funny. Like, I just love it. Like, I don't know why. Like, I don't know why. Like, I don't know why. 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 Gets me to realize that to these people, these people are aging. It's getting chummy, getting chums as well. The same relationships I have with my friends is probably the same relationships they have with theirs. And like, I absolutely love it. Let me know if your grandparents do the same thing. You know, like whenever they're with their friends, they don't call each other. Well, must my mom. No, it's Ella, man, Tinkisani, hey, Selonyana, hey, Sokonyana, and I'm like. And also, the rain yesterday just caused problems for me, man. I did not pack for a rainy day i don't know why i didn't check the weather before i left but i did not and it rained and i literally was on a pack all i had was a shirt this shirt actually and like a pair of pants with open toed shoes so imagine sandals in this cold but i did i did what i could it was fine i wasn't gonna spend much time at school anyways i managed to submit some documents to the legal clinic i still have to do my case briefs for my orals but that's on friday so i'm not really pressed about it i'm realizing now also that majority of the people who subscribe to my channel who follow my channel are uni students and as of current neither one of us me the creator you the viewer are able to watch my videos the way that they're supposed to be watched or appreciated or create the videos myself because we are so busy with um life and school if i do do 10 videos you guys aren't gonna watch them like we're busy we're doing life and uh, you guys are busy and i'm aware of that so let me not just create like some unrealistic expectation of what you guys are supposed to do we'll see how it goes i'm trying not to put so much pressure on myself and just try to go with the motions because it's best for us yeah now i gotta go study for peer which i'm writing on monday 
Hi guys, I'm gonna watch me this. Alright. They didn't see you. Ah. <laughs> I want me to see you. <laughs> anyway, I gotta go guys, I gotta go study. That's my housemate. Bye. First thing first, let me tell you guys the date of today. So it is Tuesday, not the Tuesday that my last conversation with you guys was, the Tuesday after, meaning it's been a whole entire week since I put the camera on and recorded something to speak to you guys about. I have my reasons, you guys will understand why as I keep, you know, talking about it. I have had a shit week. This has to be the worst birthday to ever exist. Like the worst birthday of all my birthdays in my whole entire existence, which is so hard because I am such a big believer in celebrating birthdays and celebrating life. When all this was happening and all these tragedies were happening, I just could not find it in me to record. I just could not find it in me to um, vlog or anything like that because I was genuinely, genuinely hurt. I was crying. I was just distraught. It was just a bad week for me. But I feel like I'm fine now. I'm at a point where I can talk about it openly without, you know, breaking down and stuff good for me and we love a healing queen on the day of my birthday i had nothing planned for the actual day because it happened on a wednesday and it was just a normal day for me i went to school i did attended classes i just did my normal routine i had lunch with my best friend i remember i woke up i just knew that it was gonna be a bad day i went to school hello it's a kink or my mood and everything was just down immediately i guess i'm not going to be all home texting this guy grabs my ass grabs my butt and then he runs away after he does that and at that point i'd had a pretty shitty morning already so i was this close to breaking down and crying real nigga tears i literally had to like try my hardest to just stop the tears from coming because why is this happening to me on my birthday and why are men fucking disgusting why are you grabbing my butt and no one no one even tried to you know oh man uh, catch him reprimand nothing it was just you know, a regular thing what do you expect? You have big bums. Which I guess set the tone for the full freaking day. It was just a horrible day. I had lunch with my best friend. He had to go to finish up with his reports and stuff and all that, which I understood. And then I came home, literally absolutely nothing planned. I came home and I cried. <laughs> we told her that. I cried, I cried, I cried, I cried, I cried. I had planned for it on the weekend. I was gonna do a Friendsgiving slash birthday party in a friends themed like friends tv show the old one about rachel and ross is my favorite tv show ever so in february this year i decided i wanted to do like a friend like a friends giving for my birthday because last year i saw a lot of friends givings and i really wanted to go to one so i was like you know what your birthday is in november anyways it might be earlier than other friends givings but it's still you know it's fine i decided you know what might as well make it friends themed i told my friends literally around book march july i planned the decor the balloons the banners i even like had this banner printed yeah the one where time he turns 22 if you watched friends you know why it says the one where time he turns 22 it's symbolic and one that was in friends which in friends giving in the friends font and stuff i'd got purple and yellow balloons cups plates it was supposed to be like a potluck event where everybody brings a dish to feed everybody so i was gonna bring something everybody else was gonna bring something i bought my ingredients for the cake i bought drinks i bought everything and then the week of my birthday arrives around my birthday that's when people started canceling like i am part of me is like why don't you just wait until like the day after to cancel like because you just gonna have let me have my day so it sucked it really sucked i started crying all over again we already started to click in but like i'm still like okay no i invited 15 people we still have a long ways to go i still we can still have a great time with the amount of people that are coming and then as the days go by as the week went by more people cancelled and cancelled until on saturday on the actual day of the event only four people were left who wanted to come all my best friends had cancelled everybody everybody was not coming and i really know that if i had the event even after what happened I would have hated it and I would have like just been sad the whole entire time because my people's majority of my people's would not have been there so I eventually just I sent them a message I was like guys let's cancel I'm very sorry if you already started cooking or something I canceled on Friday night so 
I never got to celebrate my birthday. The balloons are just still staring at me like, oh, wow, why did you buy us? I know my friends are watching right now. I'm not mad. I'm not mad at you guys. I'm just sad at like what could have been. Like I really, really, really put so much thought into this. I had made the games. We were gonna play with Pictionary. We were gonna play the apartment game. We we're gonna play so many things. And I'm sad because I didn't actually get to do it with you guys. I'm, I can't be mad at the fact that you guys um, have other priorities. It's life. I'm not number one priority. Obviously, there's education. At the end of the day, Mr. West, Mr. West. Rote. And I respect you for, you know what, actually recognize oh, I'm falling behind and I need to, you know, cut off some fun for a little while and focus. It sucks for me, but like, it makes sense. We are adults. The world doesn't particularly revolve around me and other people can have problems simultaneously as I do. And it's just realities of stuff. I think the, the, the only people who right now I'm still pretty mad at are everybody who hasn't wished me happy birthday, who's important in my life at this point it has been more than a week since my birthday you haven't wished me happy birthday yet but you're gonna delete it i had my first two exams this week and they went terribly they went bad really like um my gender exam was i had my oral during my gender exam and i couldn't finish because there was no not enough time to do both i know i'm not gonna fail it's not gonna be do anything like that but like it makes me sad because gender was one of my best subjects and i really did really did have like a really high ca on it i also wrote pill public international law which you said you're not going to school during the last week that's what came out in the exam <laughs> <laughs> but it's fine it's fine but that's about it guys i just thought i could update you guys and in essence i'm trying to close out this vlog so i can do a fully fleshed vlog of my exams and exam period since i've already started thank you so much for watching this far you know i don't know when i will but like you know my birthday is obviously always going to be during exam period so i might just wait until we all sing mr west mr west and then start planning something of substance maybe i'll travel next year i don't know we'll see thank you so much for watching this video to the very end my loves thank you so much for watching for subscribing we are on 1.9 thousand watch hours and like that is so great if you can reach two thousand or more before vlogmas starts and then maybe do the two thousand also thing during vlogmas it'll be so great guys i'll see you guys in my next video